Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this one, I will be dusting the Royal Air Force Hawker Hurricane fighter and fighter bomber. Predominantly used in uh, World War II. Um, not as famous um, as the Spitfire. But This plane was pivotal in defending the skies above Britain during World War II. This plane went into service in uh, 1937 and was still being used in some air forces around the world um, for a number of years after the end of World War II. the Hawker Hurricane. Um, it was designed as a monoplane replacement for the biplane Hawker Fury uh, fighter plane. They made um, about 14,000 of uh, these planes, 14 and a half thousand, which was less than the uh, 20,000 or so uh, Spitfires that were made. And they had, um, unlike the Spitfire, they had um, a fighter bomber uh, version of the plane. Um, so it could be used as either, either a, a light bomber or as a fighter. There was also a version called the Sea Hurricane, uh, which could um, operate on ships. I uh, still to this day, uh, from where I live in southeast England, I often see Spitfires going over. Um, probably the same one or two Spitfires from the uh, relatively local airfield at Biggin Hill, which was an airfield during World War II as well. I think they're mostly two-seater trainer Spitfires that I see going over, but uh, impossible to tell from from ground level. I I think it's impossible to tell anyway. But I never see any Hurricanes. At least I don't think so, because they they both have the Rolls Royce Merlin engines. They both sound the same. 
and uh, it could well be that I do occasionally see hurricanes. I'm not sure how many hurricanes there are left in operation. I know there are some, I don't know, 30 or 40 Spitfires still around, but that's <clears throat> that's around the whole world, I think. This, the two-seater Spitfires, they go up. Uh, someone, you can pay like, I think, £2,000. And you can go up in a, in a two-seater trainer Spitfire. The two-seater ones are the ones <clears throat> mostly that still survive because obviously they, <clears throat> excuse me, because um, obviously they didn't actually see action. <laughs> so they're more likely to have survived. But you would need two-seater ones anyway, anyway, of course, if you're taking people up. But I don't know if that's the case with the Hurricane. I don't know if there are two-seater Hurricanes around. I'm not sure. I'm trying to keep it in focus. Um, this is one of the three planes in the Battle of Britain Memorial Flypast. Is that what it's called, I think? Um, the Spitfire, the Hurricane, and the Lancaster Bomber are the three planes that uh, do fly pass whenever a fly pass is needed, basically. They're always there at uh, royal occasions doing a fly past along with like the red arrows and things like that. I remember seeing hurricanes, Spitfires, Lancasters a lot when I was a kid. Um, sort of late 70s, early 80s, I would go to air shows uh, with my dad and we would see them quite a lot. As I mentioned in my last video, when I did the Lancaster, my my great uncle uh, was actually a, a, an upper gunner in uh, Lancaster during World War Two. Did uh, fifty two sorties. Not a um, pleasant thing to be involved in, but uh, you have to defend your country, however unpleasant that is. See the distinctive shape of the hurricane, the raised bit, that's how you can always tell. Um, when I'm directly underneath a Spitfire uh, or a Hurricane, I'm not sure if I can tell the difference, but I can... Maybe I can. Um, you can definitely... I think there might be a different shape of the wings slightly there, but um, you can definitely tell the difference. If you see it somewhat side on, like if it's not directly overhead, you can definitely tell the difference. Because that's a bit bulbous on the top there. On the Hurricane. Whereas a Spitfire is the opposite, basically. Concave, is that the right word? Um, I'm not sure. But there you go. Nicely dusted. Let's see if I can get a good shot. in the sun. Preferably without my fingers in the way. Oh, 
There you go. My Hawker Hurricane. Okay. Badly out of focus now. There we are. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you on the next video. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to. I'd very much so appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.